Hey everyone, welcome back on the channel. Welcome back to another frame generation video. As you guys have already read it from the title that uh, Intel XCSS frame generation and uh, XCSS low latency is now supported on all GPU but only in supported games like which game supports. I'll throw up a list on your screen here you can pause the video maybe and take a look at uh, which games right now supports the frame generation and low latency. Uh, also we are gonna test the cyberpunk uh, game also i'm gonna test cyberpunk 2077 uh, today so basically the process is you download this zip the download link in the description you extract it on the desktop you will get a few dll files here so what you need to do is copy these dll files and locate your games installation directory where already the xcss dlls are pasted so i'm gonna paste it in cyberpunk 2077 version 2.3 so this is the installation folder i'm gonna go inside bean then x64 and where the cyberpunk is located i'm gonna paste the dlls here now the directory might be different for different games like where the LiveXS dlls is located in your games directory you need to paste the mod or the dlls there so nothing extra is needed just paste the mod and go inside the game so now i'll dive back in the game and i'll show you how much fps you're getting and how you can set the frame generation all right so i am back inside the game and uh, yeah first let's head to setting then go to graphics wait let me hide the overlay there you go and in order to use the xcss remuneration you need to set the upscaler to xcss so that is the only down part right now like the frame generation is not yet decoupled but i think in the future it will come to eventually that because xcss already have like upgradable uh, dll you can just paste the dll and upgrade the version and frame generation and everything so yeah there you go uh, you can see the frame rate has boosted to 120 to 130 it is also a little bit better than fsr 3.1 frame generation because uh, in my opinion i think fsr 3.1 frame generation would have been around like 110 to 15 but it's around 120 to 30 so yeah it's a little bit better also you can use the xcss low latency too so go to setting again then go to video and in here you need to set a frame rate limit uh, so set a frame rate limit right below your average fps like i was getting around 120 to 30 so i will set it around 118 maybe or 115 and after that click on apply and you will see low latency is already on so you just need to set a limit in order to make that effect then go back in the game and you can also feel that the smoothness is also little bit better for the latency uh, low latency thing uh, so yeah it's a very good addition in my opinion because competition is always good for the consumers and everything uh, if this video helps you uh, leave a like and subscribe to the channel i daily bring new uh, gaming mod and uh, pc latest tech news videos uh, if you need cheap games netflix subscription join my discord and yeah i'll see you guys in the next one so until then cheers now